of course, one could say that in the very idea itself lies the act, the act of the idea. But the idea, well, if all of life then is guided by conceptual, hypothetical, and theoretical constructs and arguments, propositions, corroborated to become statements, yes. when corroborated to become statements, um, it means that if one does not engage in conceptual and hypothetical and theoretical inquiry and discourse, one is always a borrower. One is borrowing from somebody else. Somebody else's concepts and hypotheses and theories. And in that sense then, one is always beholden to somebody else. And the war wants to break as much as is possible, this beholdenness of black people to white people. Which is not to say that ideas develop in a vacuum. But the Boer wants black people to be vibrant participants in the development of ideas. Not just in the planting of trees or the tilling of fields as important as those are. And he does recognize their importance significance of ideas. And so in this context, Du Bois stresses a liberal education which in his time consisted of, in part, what was called the trivium and the quadrivium. The trivium and the quadrivium. And the trivium consisted of Rhetoric, grammar, and logic. Rhetoric, grammar, and logic. And the quadrivium of arithmetic, geometry, astronomy, and music. The trivium and the quadrivium. Can you repeat this again? Grammar, the trivium. Grammar, logic, Rhetoric. The quadrivium, think of arithmetic, geometry, music, astronomy. Trivium and the quadrivium. So, arithmetic, geometry, music, astronomy. Astronomy, that's the quadrivium. And the trivium, grammar, logic, rhetoric. But you see, the work of the mind, which for Du Bois is crucial. And in this context, Du Bois emphasizes then the importance of the university. And the common theories that then I'll pick up with the significance of the university for Du Bois and a strong liberal education through the university.